Brooke from Sulcata Grove, and today we're going to be taste testing the P22 mango. Is there anything we should, be, we should know about this before? Um, it's just from Zill Breeding Project, so high performance plant, and it was uh, row P, plant 22. Okay. Don't heart be too harsh on my cutting skills. I actually mm -hmm. haven't done this before. Doing great. This was my favorite mango at, I think, Matthew Reese's Mango Tasting, maybe in 2019, 2018. I think it's 2019, maybe, but. The ones that I've had that we haven't grown have had a little bit of a butter rum flavor. Um, I think Alex might call it a cola flavor. Um, I think maybe I'm just not letting them get quite to that level of ripeness. But the tree is done really well. I bought the tree as a 15-gallon tree and from Incredible Edible Landscapes. And uh, it's the tree's done fantastic. Oh. This is the first time I've tasted piney flavor in this mango. Do you get that? Like a really sweet. Yeah, it doesn't taste the same as when I had tried it last time. Mm -hmm. Very different. I told you mean by the piney. Very mm -hmm. much like a fruit cup. Okay. Well, there you go. The texture is firm, though. Don't you think it's like Yes, yeah, so it has dense... a very nice texture. It's very... It's a solid... But not with fiber. Mango. Solid, creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Has. A... But there is like a sweet pininess. If you had like mild, very mild, very pine. mild. But I mean, I know I made the fruit cup joke, but you know those like little, like jelly canister things. It's like a jelly candy. Like the jelly for beetles. Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's a bit like one of those. It is. So in Japan, oh, okay. are you? Can you touch it? I'll be fine. I'm gonna wash my hands. I had a uh, major mango issue earlier this year. I'm allergic to mangoes, and this year it was the first year that actually I got real scratchy throat. Um, but I grew a plantain. Crafting Cliff told me I don't know over a decade ago to grow plantain, and that it really helps with mango allergy. And so he gave me some seeds like 10 years ago, and. I've been growing it and I made plantain tea with those plants from his seeds and no more scratchy throat. What were you saying earlier about beetles? Oh, so in Japan they raise beetles as pets and in their grocery stores they have little little canisters of that this is, jelly you were talking about. This is exactly like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. We used to eat them growing up. I think in Ecuador they had them too. Yeah. They would sell them in a big plastic container of jelly. Yeah, you take the lid off and just... Yep. Yeah, the <laughs> texture is exactly like it's that. It's exactly like that. It's sweet. It's like a mango. I like it. I like it better when it's a little bit more ripe and gets that butter rum flavor. But it's got a tiny hint of that cola flavor even now. On this side of the mango. But it's good. This is one that doesn't get a funky flavor, like a bad funky flavor when you let it get really overripe, and it's still good underripe, so it's a very forgiving mango. I think this is a very child friendly mango, too. It's very, like, generic sweet. Yeah. So I, I could eat the whole thing. <laughs> I think we're gonna. Mm -hmm. Oh, at the end it has a little bit of citrusy taste, so... How about it? I think different ends of the mango and closer to the skin can have a little bit different oh, yeah. flavors. But this side was a lot, both sides are very different. Yep. I think I got closer to the skin on this side too. Mm. But anyway, mm. that's a very good mango. I like P22 yes. if you like a fiberless but dense. Very solid. good texture. Very good texture, very sweet. Um, and just a forgiving mango. Those are my favorite mangoes to have in the mm. yard where they're not super picky about when you pick them. Um, what would you rate this mango? I would give this mango like a nine. 
It was a 10 when I had it at that other tasting, but this particular P22, I would give a 9, but I've had P22s that I would give. I'd give it a 10. 10. Okay. I, oh, this good. is like... This might be one of your favorite trees. Whoever yes. has a tree that's like their favorite, like Courtney really likes coconut cream. I always try to make sure I save enough coconut creams for Courtney, and Brooke loves lemon meringues. So I yes, try to make sure I save enough. lemon meringue and P22 are my two favorites. I nice. Believe. And this one I only try this year, so... And Brooke tries all the mangoes, so that says a lot that yes. those are her two favorites. So if you have very basic tastes like me, <laughs> definitely try this one. And if you have more complex tastes like you, try also it try it. Yeah, because they're it's, good. It's like a all around crowd pleaser mango. Yeah. It's not juicy. That's the one no. thing. It's really not compared to some other mangoes. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Pick the mango from the tree, and the mango down to me. Put the mango in a sack, put the sack up on my back. Everybody now.